This weekend, I want to speak about overcoming weakness. Anne Graham Lott said, God's grace and power seem to reach their peak when we're at our weakest point. You've found that to be true, and so have I. When we are at a low ebb, at a weak point in our lives, it seems like through God's grace that power, the divine power, comes through, and it saves the day. And we are literally uh, saved in that moment. In 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9 and 10, it says, He told me, my strength comes into its own, now listen to this, in your weakness. Once I heard that, I was glad to let it happen. Now I take my limitations in stride, and with good cheer, I just let Christ take over. And so, the weaker I get, the stronger I become. I love that in that Bible verse. The weaker I get, the stronger I become. Whenever you feel weakness, and I do, and, and you do, let God come through, and you'll have a surge of strength, a surge of power beyond belief. Do you remember the line in the old children's song, Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Well, the message applies to kids of all ages. And we are weak indeed many days. We're just at a low ebb, but we worship a mighty God. And a mighty God is what we each are connected to. We are connected to our source, to our full power. When you're in the midst of an adversity in life, or uh, uh, a stranglehold of suffering, turn to God for strength in that moment. Don't put it off. Don't, don't wallow in the weakness. Many people do. Not you, and, and not me. We're going to go to God immediately when we feel weak, when we feel our strength waning. You can do all things when you rely upon the power of Christ flowing through you. Philippians 4.13 says that. Your challenge, then, is to rely upon God. Any time that you feel weak, allow it to be a signal in you, like a bell going off, saying to you strongly, it's time to go to God, not this afternoon or tonight, now. And when you do, you plug into that power, and that power comes through you. Put God in that moment at the very center of your life and trust God to take care of all the other stuff that surrounds you and let Christ's strength take over where you are weak and you'll discover your true power, God's power. It is one of the greatest discoveries you can make when you're having one of those off days when you discover an on God. God bless you. I wish you the full power of God right now.